Hello boys and girls and welcome back for another fun week in the Hippo and Owl class. This week we're going to be focusing on being superheroes. Now, what is a superhero? We've heard that word before, but do you actually know what makes somebody super? What makes somebody a superhero? Let's think about that. You have to do something I would assume really good or really, really just so good for everybody around you that people would go, wow, that's super. So what kind of things do superheroes do? What makes you a superhero? Let's hear it. Very good. Superheroes are people, both real and imaginary, that are brave, that are selfless, which means they do things for other people, that are kind, that offer protection, that offer help, and that generally do nice things for other people, whether it's saving them from the bad guy, whether it's making them feel better, whether it's helping somebody to do something that they can't do, whether it's helping a family get somewhere or do something or bring something into their home that they need. People all around you are superheroes. You guys are superheroes. Your parents are superheroes. Their teachers are superheroes. All a superhero is, is somebody who does good things for others. Now, especially in this time when we've all been home, we realize that there are more and more superheroes around us than we ever realized. There are doctors and nurses and pharmacists. Are, those are the people that make our medicine. There are people that take care of the dogs and the cats and the sick animals, veterinarians. There are people that help families like police officers, firemen, firewomen, people in ambulances, first responders, people in the army, military, navy, people all around us that generally help us and do good things. They're brave, they're strong, they're powerful. And to all of those people, we say thank you. But then there are the superheroes that everybody knows and reads about and sees on TV or in movies. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Batgirl. We have so many superheroes. The Hulk, The Flash, Captain America. Just so, so many that you guys love to pretend to play with, to dress up like and be. We like to pretend that we have superpowers. We like to pretend that we can fly. We have x-ray vision and we can climb tall buildings and jump as high as bridges and just run faster than anyone else in the world. It's so much fun to be a superhero. So this whole week we're going to work on being superheroes. We're going to do some fun science experiments. We're going to do a flying experiment. We are going to make some Hulk slime. We are going to make a really kind of funny, weird superhero out of a potato. We're going to learn some new songs. We're going to watch some videos and just have a lot of fun. Now, the first thing we're going to do is everyone should have this ditto, hopefully printed out, and it says, I'm super. Now, there are two of them. One has a girl and one has a boy. So obviously, if you're a girl, you're going to use the girl one. If you're a boy, you're going to use the boy one. And you guys are going to fill this out and turn yourselves into superheroes. You're going to draw a picture of yourself. You're going to write your super name, your super age, how old you are. What makes you super at school? What gives you really good feeling about yourself at school? What are you really good at? And what makes you super at home? What's your superpower at home? Maybe you're the best cleaner. Maybe you're the best at helping mommy take out the garbage. Maybe you're the best at helping mommy clear up the dinner dishes. Anything that you do at home that helps someone, that makes someone feel good, makes someone better, that makes you super. You're also going to say what you're the most super at. Now this could be any kind of thing that you are good at, any skill, whether you're good at building really tall towers or coloring inside the lines or writing letters or counting, anything, jumping really high. Whatever you are super at, that is what makes you so wonderful. That's what brings that amazingness to you. And we want to embrace all of your amazingness in this unit. Now. Also, I'm gonna do something a little different where 
I do want to hear what your super names are. If you were a superhero, what would you be your super name? But guess what? I have another paper that is actually going to tell us our superhero names. So are you ready to hear your names? So for me, I would be, and now how this works is the first letter of your name, you would find the first, your first name is the first name of your superhero, the letter. And then the, the letter of your last name gives you your second superhero name. So I would be Gold Bolt. <laughs> Miss Veronica would be Moon Sword. Now we're gonna go through the hippo class. You ready for your superhero names? Emily, you are Agent Sword. Nicholas, Strong Shield. Liam, Plutonium Rock. Mickey, Dr. Talon. James Parsons, you are Stupendous Knight. Francesca, you're Green Knight. Emma Sanchez, Agent Fist. Alina, Super Fist. Dylan Singh, you are The Fist. Elena, Agent Lion. Ryan, you are Atomic Shark. All right, now for the owls. Marco, you are Dr. Red. Matthew, Dr. Sword. Aoife, you are Super Shield Burst. Emiliana, Agent Robot. Emma Hammerberg, Agent Giant. James Lynch, Stupendous Rock. Michael, Dr. Gigatron. And Dylan Smith, you're the Fist. So those are your superhero names that I am assigning you. So if you want to, you can write that name on your superhero paper, but if you want to come up with your own name, maybe you don't like the one that this sheet gave you, feel free to rename yourself because honestly, Gold Bolt, I don't know if that really fits me. So definitely see where this goes and have a lot of fun being superheroes. And don't forget to thank all of the superheroes that are around you every day. If you see doctors, nurses, anybody in an ambulance, a hospital, a doctor's office, tell them thank you and you are so happy that they are in your lives helping people around you. And you all stay super and I hope your superpowers help make this unit one of the best ones yet. All right, so we will be back soon for a couple more activities. Our next one, we'll be making some Hulk slime. I know we had a lot of fun making our ladybug slime, so this one should be cool, and we're gonna do a really fun twist to it. So I will see you in a little bit for that, and we'll see what happens. Bye.